Welcome to the fall edition of Business Ethics, or the official title of the course, Ethical Problems in Business and Society. Philosophy 6800-01, section number 17155. That is, that's the CUNY first uh, identification number. You don't really need to know that. But uh, And in fact, in Philosophy 6800 this semester, this is the only section of the course that's being taught. So it, I don't even need to know which section. If you tell me you're in Philosophy 6800 or Philosophy 68, I know which section to look at. Well, we're going to have a few challenges this semester. First of all, I want to mention this course is fully online. That is, we will have no live meetings. Now, with regard to fully online courses, there are two variations. One is what we call a synchronous course. That is where the course is fully online, but the medium, the way it's conducted, the mode, as they like to say in uh, the administration, the mode of instruction <clears throat> is what we call synchronous. That is, we'll do Zoom conferences. That will be the classes. And I'm sure most of you have an idea of what these are right now. Uh, based on what's gone on in the pandemic, that whether you were in high school or you were in college or you, whether even if you were out of school, you probably saw some of this or saw news reports about these things. That is teachers getting on a computer and uh, being projected out to their students' uh, homes where they're on the computer and they are interacting. That is, the teacher can talk about things, ask the students questions, the students respond. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with that kind of stuff. Well, that's a synchronous uh, way, a synchronous mode of instruction. This course is going to be an asynchronous um, full online course, and that means that there will be no requirement to go to any live meetings. Now, I should mention that I'm going to have sessions that I will try to set up where everybody will be able to attend. Uh, that is synchronous sessions, sessions with Zoom. It will not be a requirement that you will attend, and I will try my best to record every one of these and make them available to everybody in the class so you don't miss out on anything. But, and I will, you know, I will tend to schedule them where, where at times where at least most people or everybody can make it, and I will be conducting my office hours via Zoom. I have specific office hours that I've set up. Uh, however, if you want to talk to me during those office hours, it is a good idea, or let me say it's a requirement, to let me know in advance because I'm not going to sit on Zoom for hours waiting for students to attend when nobody shows up. Um, okay, so if you need me, let me know. If you can't make my normal office hours, I will be very, very willing to set up a mutually convenient time where we can either use Zoom or if you would prefer via telephone, I will be happy to talk to you via telephone. Okay, now, uh, for those of you who are new to Kingsboro, let me welcome you to, the, uh, to Kingsboro. Uh, normally, we like to have you come to campus, and maybe some of you have had that opportunity. I don't know, many of the new freshmen probably do not, have not even had that opportunity. They've enrolled online, and uh, some of you have had the president uh, visit you and welcome you to Kingsborough. Um, don't, your philosophy professor isn't coming over to your house. Don't get nervous. Um, so... We'd like, I'd like to get you oriented to the way that we'll be working, and we're going to be working in Blackboard. That is, Blackboard, if you can see up here in the corner, I'm pushing the cursor over there, up in the left corner, it says C-U-N-Y, CUNY, Blackboard, the City University of New York, Blackboard. Is This is the course, a course management software, and this enables us to organize our course, put materials up, uh, put videos up, enable you to get all the content. It's a course management, content management system. It enables me to get the content up there so that you can progress through the course and do very well and succeed and even take tests, etc. And that's going to be the primary means of communication for us. I, we're going to turn it into a kind of a synchronous mode, not really synchronous, 
but I will have you do certain exercises. And those of you who are familiar with either bulletin boards on websites or more importantly, discussions or discussion boards or forum uh, or for, for uh, is the plural really, but forums uh, within Blackboard, you'll know that I will post, the way that works is I'll post some questions and ask you for a response. And in fact, then I will open the floor to having uh, you respond to your classmates' postings. Now, this is going to kind of emulate being in the classroom. Uh, that is, I'll ask a question, and it'll be like we're well, having a discussion in the classroom, except it'll be done through writing. Or I'll even allow you to post audios or post videos to answer the question. Just don't make them very long. Usually when I'm asking a question, keep it to less than three minutes. I'm going to try to keep all the content videos anywhere from three to six minutes. Okay, so that's a good way to proceed. But the reason I wanted to get here, get up front with you about this, is just to give you an idea that here's the way the course is going to run. I am going to post this video on in Blackboard on the course. And I will have in, you notice we have announcements here. Actually, let me make this page look a little bit more well, I better not, because it says, I still have not made this course available to you, although once I get this welcome visit video together, I will make the course available to you, and you will have access to the first week's information, even before I finish putting all the first week's information up. By the way, when we're speaking of the first week, the first week officially starts. Today is, if you can't see, look down in the corner, Friday, September 11th, 2020. 9-11, uh, you know, an, an historic day for us in the United States, um, sad day for us in the United States. However, the course will not start until, and this is Friday, until Monday, which is the 14th of September. Let me pop up the, my calendar so you can see right here with the 11th, Saturday, Sunday. I hope you have a nice weekend. 14th, Monday, the information for week one will be, I hope, up there on Monday, so you'll be able to complete it. Some of the stuff is already there, so you can st uh, jump in and get started. A lot of the first week will be um, getting you familiar with the environment and getting for you familiar with the tools. I have some exercises for you to go through. Just follow through, follow my instructions, and you'll be fine. If you, you'll go into, there'll be a week one folder that I, that this thing will get you into. That is this video if you're getting to it from Blackboard and right start from there and get into week one and start working from the top to the bottom of the week. Um, if you have any questions, email me. The best email to get me, you can find that in the syllabus, but you don't know where that is yet, is at P-R-O-F, as short for professor, dot. L E G U M at gmail dot com. G M A I L dot com. So if you're confused about it, that's the best way to get me. If you can't get me that way, you can use my CUNY for my CUNY email address. Um, but I that that Gmail address that I just gave you, I reserve that for comments from my students and I usually get back to you faster that way. With all that said, I'd like you to welcome you to the semester. This might be a new experience for you, might be new to Kingsboro, but we, I will try to help you get through. And by the way, if you have questions, if you're new to Kingsboro, you're new to Blackboard, and you have questions, feel free to send me an email. I will try to respond to that. I'll, I'll try to turn around things within, you know, I'll try to get it within an hour, but I, I'll make a commitment to within three days or three or four days getting back to you. Well, with all that, let me suggest you're ready to start, and why don't you just jump in, familiarize yourself with Blackboard. Oh, I should have mentioned, speaking of Blackboard, if you do not know how to get to Blackboard, there are two things you should know. Let me pop one up on the screen. Kingsborough Community College, you should know how to get it to our website. It's, if you look up here, kbcc.cuny.edu. That is the website. There's some very important information for you. If you go into current students, hunt around a little bit. You guys, I think, I hope are familiar with that. If not, just try things. Uh, you will figure out how to get to it. They will give you answers. And the thing that you want to get to, and some of you have been there, is Blackboard, 
which if you take a look cuny.edu this should be familiar because after all you probably came on to the cuny portal to uh, to register for the course in the first place i hope you should have done that okay and if you notice here over here we have login and if you go down and you click on to blackboard it will take you to a login screen right now it won't take me to a login screen because i'm already logged in blackboard it will just open up blackboard for you okay so with that good luck in the course i'm looking forward to meeting you and let's get started have a great and very successful semester